Oh, brother. Guys, we're supposed to go on in 15 minutes, and I still can't get into it. I mean, how lame is Little Red Riding Hood anyway? Her grandmother's got fur, sharp teeth, and whiskers. Duh. Run, you little goof. She's a wolf. Tell me about it, Sasha. Snow White is even more embarrassing. Cook and clean for seven messy guys? No paycheck? No thanks, loser. Sorry, cool cat. I think I win. Rapunzel? First of all, how about a name change? Hmm. I always kind of like the name Rapunzel. Anyway, try playing Wimpy Cinderella sometime. I mean, how hard is it to sneak out to a ball? Ugh, these kids are gonna think our fairy tale plays are ridiculous. How can I be a convincing actress if I'm not even convinced by my own character? I'll get booed out of the theater. My stage career will be over before it's even begun. Angel, we promised Principal Grimm we would put on this assembly. And they're kindergartners. We used to love fairy tales when we were their age. Yeah, what happened to us? Guess we got too smart for him. Smarter than Snow White, that's for sure. I'm telling you, if we had been in their positions, we would have handled things way better. You got that right. <laughs> no doubt about it. You said it. Ahem. <clears throat> ahem what? I didn't ahem. Wasn't me. I do not ahem. I ahem. Ahem. Whoa, look! There's a frog in the drinking fountain! Gross! I've heard they give you warts! Such imbecility. The ahem came from the frog. It talks. The keeper of fairy tale lore has heard your scornful words and frankly is quite saddened. The keeper worries that if too many become cynical and lose their appreciation for fairy tales, then the tradition of passing them from generation to generation will die out forever. The tales themselves will cease to exist, as will the world from which they sprang. Dig it? This reeks of hidden camera show. Someone's pranking us. See? I'll show you his batteries. Ugh, touching me, touching me. Put me down! He's real and squishy. Sorry, Froggy. The name is Chadwick, and I am a handsome prince. But I've been cursed and changed into this pathetic creature. A frog prince? Cursed? Um, see, we don't exactly believe in all that fairy tale stuff. Oh, I know. Believe me, I know. So, pretending for a moment that you're not some really elaborate robot or something, what are we supposed to do? You had to ask. started one day when, just like you four, I was boasting how I could do so much better than the fairy tale heroines. But the Keeper overheard me. To punish me for my pride, the Keeper zapped me into this common frog. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I love you guys! You've been great BFFs! <sighs> the only way I can break my spell and regain my princely form is, listen to this, ladies, this is important to stop dreaming! Who's doing this to us? Ah. Uh. The Keeper, the Keeper, I told you. Don't you pay attention. Get out your notebooks. Within the space of this sunrise to midnight, we must enter each of your four fairy tales and bring them to a happy conclusion. You dig it? What does that even mean? 
Basically, you say you can handle things better than Rapunzel, Snow White, Red Riding Hood, and, and the other one, Cinderella, whatever. Well, now is your chance to prove it. <laughs> what? And you better. If we succeed in time, then I will be turned back into a prince and you will be sent back home. However, if we fail, then I'll be this common frog and you four be stuck here in fairy tale world forevermore. <gasps> so don't mess up. You got to midnight. Dig it. You, Rapunzel? Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, come with me. <gasps> Angel? This is a nightmare. It has to be a nightmare. Quick, circle pinch. Ow! Okay, I don't know which is worse, the bruise on my arm or the fact that this is really happening. How are we going to find Chloe? Guys, she's dressed as Rapunzel. So she's in Rapunzel's story? You mean some witch has her locked in a stone tower or something? I think on the way down, I might have seen one in that direction. Or was it that direction? <gasps> uh, whatever. Let's move. Help! Help! Someone get me out of here! Why not scream for help for another 15 minutes? I'm sure it'll work this time. I don't get it. Why won't anyone come help me? Maybe because you're in a witch's tower? So? Most rational people try to avoid witch's towers. I'm definitely not sitting around here for years and years waiting for some prince to come ask me to let down my... <gasps> my hair! You just now noticed? Have you just now noticed? I'm a lot bigger than you. All right, all right, smarty pants. Just throw your hair out the window so we can get out of here. Give me a break. I've got an easier way. hook and then climb down. You are smarter than Rapunzel. You could rob my tower, did you, Goldilocks? Should have learned not to trespass after your mishap with those bears. 
Eye of Wombat Camel's hump. This thieving guy is now a stop. What's the matter? Got a knot in your stomach? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Rapunzel's attempting to escape? I'm off. Good work, Stevie. There will be extra rotten garbage in your supper tonight. <laughs> we made it! Splendid, divine. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Got scissors, genius? Where am I supposed to get scissors? <laughs> ah! Oh, it's the witch. <gasps> she won't be pleased. But I'm Chloe. I'm not really Rapunzel. What are you talking about? As long as you're in the fairy tale world, you will appear to all as Rapunzel. <sighs> Uh-oh, not good. You're right. She won't be pleased. Yeah, yeah, like I said, hide! I can't! I'm connected to the tower! Shh, shh, here she comes. Rapunzel, what do you think you're doing? Um, going for a walk? You know walks are against the rules. Back in the tower. <laughs> I don't think so. Tree stump or toadstool? What? Which do you want me to turn you into? All right. Well, how about a ride up on your broom? Ha! And just hand over a way for you to escape? Oh, I don't think so. Broom stays outside. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. This is the worst thing that could ever have happened. Well, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. I'm coming up too. find the tower. I can't go any further. Yeah, like how about putting your butt somewhere else? Who said that? Oh my gosh, look! Oh, Angel, look what they've done to you. Crummy deal, huh? But I guess I had it coming, always sticking my nose in other people's business. I broke into the Three Bears' house, you know. And nobody knows this, but I'm the one who TP'd that old lady who lives in the shoe. And the three little kittens that think they lost their mittens? Nah, -uh. I swiped them. Hey, you're not Chloe. Name's Goldilocks. But how come you're a... Yeah, long story. Anyway, I couldn't help overhearing you guys talking about a tower. Right. Our friend Chloe, Rapunzel. Oh, Rapunzel, in the witch's tower, sure. Don't go too close or she'll turn you into a stump. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a long story after all. Where is it? Right over that way. Um, nothing personal, but... Oh. Yeah. Stump scan point. Pass that big rock over there and through those trees. Oh, thanks! Meet a lot of interesting people as a stump. On second thought, this ain't that bad. I should never have spared your father's life after he stole letters from my garden. I thought you were a fair trade, but this is the 33rd time you've tried to escape. 
It is? What? You think I haven't been keeping count? There was the time you tried tunneling out, the time you built that glider but then couldn't fit it out the window. Wow. Maybe Rapunzel... I mean, maybe I'm not totally lame. And now, this! <laughs> I told you long ago, 33 strikes and you must face the punishment. Oh no, please no, I won't do it again, I promise! Enough! I'll not be talked out of it. The punishment will be... Checkers! Checkers? <laughs> uh, come on, scoot up and prepare for a shellacking. But uh, I thought... What? That I was going to turn you into a stump? Oh, Rapunzel, I'd never do that to you. You're my sole entertainment. <laughs> Changing up on me, huh? Never opened with that move before. Uh, yeah. Something different? Ahem. <laughs> ah uh ha! -huh. Ha <laughs> ha! Deal with that! to go to the bathroom. <laughs> My last move really scared ya, huh? <laughs> oh, go on. The bucket is right over there. <coughs> Opened with a Stravinsky double checker trap maneuver. Ooh. Gotten better. Uh -oh. mm. What are you doing? He'll see you. I'll make a diversion. <laughs> please, oh please, let there be a mouthwash strong enough for this. She's gotten better. Fortune favors the bold. It burns like jalapenos. It burns. A frog? Although, I wonder, how did you get up here? I know you're good jumpers, but no one's that good. The one who brought him here was me, and now I turn you into a... a tree. A cow? A gopher? Ah, 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 ah. Well done, Stevie. Extra garbage and frog in your supper tonight. <coughs> no! Hot diggity frog. Please, witch lady, um, ma'am, uh, don't feed him, Chadwick. He's my friend. Oh, I gathered as much. And don't you worry, dear. Your friend won't meet his end alone. What do you mean? Are you feeling it, sweetie? Let me go! Let me go! The more you struggle, the sooner Stevie's strength will fail. Ew! Stay right here. I need to turn someone into an onion. Chadwick, quick! You zapped us into this story. Can't you zap us out? How many times do we have to go over this? It's the Keeper who zaps, not me. And we don't get zapped out of here until you outsmart the villain of your story. Oh, happy endings are way harder than I thought they would be. Yeah, yeah. You start judging others, assuming, and see where you get yourself.
recognize that drama mama voice anywhere. Oh, no. She's about to not live so happily ever after. She'll live happily ever after if we have anything to say about it. Come on! Hey, hey, what are you doing? They put me back. I'm Rumpelstiltskin, not an onion. Oh, poor thing. You are making me cry. <laughs> so you must be an onion. <laughs> okay, you know, that's not funny. for my stool. Evil worse than a warlock wedgie. Turn them into instant veggies. Look You can get your ride with me. Put me down! Put me down! Help! Forget Stevie Supper. Stevie do this. Stevie do that. I we did it! We beat the witch! That was great! You were awesome with that broom. Don't get too proud of yourselves, because you got three more fairy tales to go. that broom. Sorry. Hey! Wait for me! Hey, hello! Come on, rolling guy over here! Come on, right up! Okay, so, let me get this straight, guys. What did that frog say? We're stuck here in fairy tale land forever unless Jade can do better than Snow White at outwitting the Wicked Queen? And I can outwit Red Riding Hood's wolf. And I can make sure Cinderella gets her happy ending. By midnight. <laughs> what if Jade isn't doing very well as Snow White? We'll have to live here forever. And guys, they don't have flush toilets. <gasps> Come on, Angel. We've all read the stories. The only reason the other villains were tough was because they were up against lame heroines. But I'm not lame, and I barely got away from Rapunzel's witch. If you guys hadn't come along... Chill, Drama Mama. Let's think positive, okay? <laughs> Who are you looking for, Onion Guy? I am not an onion. I am Rumpelstiltskin. The witch did this to me. Me too. I used to be Goldilocks. Hey, did you see three girls come tearing through here? Oh, yeah. They stopped and asked for directions to the Seven Dwarves' cottage. Their friend got turned into Snow White, and now they want to rescue her. Oh, hey, bet you can't guess my name. It's Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> you just told me a second ago. Oh. How come we're 
in the middle of these dark and creepy woods. Shouldn't we have just poofed into the Seven Dwarfs' house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three stages, okay? Isn't there something first about a huntsman who's supposed to shoot her with an arrow and take her heart back to the queen? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Where are you going? You're supposed to beg for mercy. Maybe a cottage. Hello? Kinda messy. Watch the low street. Go away. This is way better than that tower Rapunzel was in. And you escaped the Huntsman, so now all you gotta do is outsmart the wicked queen who's jealous of your beauty. I can do that. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna be tricked into eating some poison apple. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. This one'll be a piece of cake for sure. <laughs> Goldilocks gave us lousy directions. The witch is on the loose! The witch is on the loose! What do you mean she's on the loose? I thought you put her in the tower! Yeah, about that. See, well, she could be mighty convincing, and, uh, well, she promised she'd treat me nicer. You brought her back down? Rapunzel! Oh, no! Quick, run! I am so done with checkers! Mm. Anything in there? Some moldy crusts of bread. I'm starving. There's plenty of food down here. <laughs> Ew. Quick, hide! It's the huntsman! We prefer little people. Uh, yeah, you know, I kind of prefer dwarves myself. Man, that is so not hip. Yeah, yeah, never mind that. Who are you, and what are you doing up in our crib? Uh, I'm Snow White, sort of. And the Wicked Queen wants to get rid of me, and please, can I hide from her in here? Oh, please, I won't be much trouble, I promise. Well, what do you think, guys? Seems okay. As long as we have peace and quiet to practice. Practice what? Mining? No! A real ambition! The passion of our lives. Cheese making? No! We want to be a boy band. I'm Justin, and this is my posse. Ryan, Nick, Cody, Todd, Marky, and little ZZ. We are the Seven Ds. We got our first gig tonight, playing for the Prince's Ball. She could be a groupie. Groupie? Yeah, you know, that's what girls do. Scream and faint and go crazy over the band. She can carry our stuff. Uh, sorry, but I don't think so. I mean, I'm in a band myself, and I would never expect anyone to carry my stuff. You? <laughs> in a band? A girl? 
funny. Well, when you're finished with your delusion, you can start picking up around the place. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, but everyone knows that girls do the cooking and cleaning. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't know that. Yeah, they do. It's stupid. Pretty good. I have to clean up some messes around here. Oh, they do, do they? Now, don't do anything crazy. We got a good thing going here with a warm fire, great music, plenty of food on the floor. You listen up, mister. I don't know what world you're living in, but... A fairy tale land. Maybe you don't think much of girls in fairy tale land, but where I come from, we've got way more going on than cooking and cleaning. <clears throat> well, that's really inspirational, but what we're looking for is more cooking and cleaning, so unless you can get down with that, little missy, <laughs> you can take your way more going on right back out into the deep, dark forest. <laughs> now look what you did, and that forest is not accommodating. Kind of pointy, remember? Well, what's it gonna be? Sleeping on the forest floor? Or cleaning this one. Okay, okay. Now try that in C. normally go for that vibe, but wow, you guys are talented, genius, and divine. Dig it. Okay, where's your washing machine? Hey, we're practicing here? Yeah, you derailed my creative train of thought. Hey, 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 now that's a nice lyric. Write that down. Derailed my train. Ooh, that's nice. Just tell me where the appliances are and I won't bother you. Got to be kidding. Tomorrow, when those filthy seven dwarves head for their mine, I'll offer her this poison apple. She'll never recognize me disguised as an old hag. Why does she have to be so pretty? Maybe she has a zit. Mirror, mirror in my hand. Who's the fairest in the land? Uh, are you really gonna ask me again? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, oh, wicked queen, though fair ye be, Snow White's fairer far than thee. Curses, that little jerk. Do you really think it's healthy to carry around all this anger? Quiet. I'm scheming. I can't believe I just did that. Ow! Just be grateful this isn't Sleeping Beauty. Here's some more socks for you to darn. Ew! Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, 
I guess you might want to wash them first. I haven't got around to that since uh, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, uh, last winter. That's it. I'm out of here. I thought you were being hunted. Yeah, there's like wicked queens and wolves out there. Haven't you heard of Red Riding Hood? What are you doing? It's dangerous out there. Yeah, not a good idea to go out in the forest unaccompanied. Ah, touching me, touching me. Ciao. Where are you going? Oh, she's gonna get eaten. It is her last weekend. She is going down. Oh, yeah, the Wicked Queen is sure to get her now. I'm hungry. Well, if you hadn't... Don't start. My parents took me to a French restaurant once, and the frog legs tasted just like chicken. I ate a whole plateful. Yeah, yeah, all right. Look, grapes! Oh, yes. She's going to fall for it. Since when do grapes grow on trees? Well, this place is weird. I'm just saying, it might not be a good idea. Um, excuse me. Shh, not now. She's about to eat my poison grapes. I don't care, I'm starving. Brilliant. I think you want to check who's the fairest. What? Mirror, mirror in my hand. Now, who's the fairest in the land? Oh, wicked queen, though fair ye be, Snow White, and this just in, now three other girls are fairer far than thee. What? Three other girls? There she is! Jade? Jade! Hey, guys! Oh, you imbeciles! She was about to eat my poison grapes. It's the evil queen! She's trying to get me! I'll get all of you! I'll... There you are. <laughs> I'll... I knew you'd be back. Hey, uh, what's going on? Guys, little help. What's in it for us? I thought you guys were my friends. Yeah, well, with friends like you, who needs enemies? You washed our lights with our darks, and now our underwear's pink. <laughs> I'll get all of you. Jerks. Ah! Oh, no, you don't. Rapunzel is mine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You fool. Let go of me. Well, well, one, two, three. Where does Little Red Riding Hood's grandma live? We have to get there as fast as possible! Shouldn't be hard. She lives right over there. Yeah, we sublet the house to her a few years ago when she retired. Oh, uh, why? Uh, well, what's the rush? 
I ain't drinking out of that well. Oh, sweetie. Come a little closer to your old grandma, won't you? I think I'll pass. But it would make me so happy to have you in my belly, uh, by my side. You don't fool me for a minute, you old wolf. I know you're not my grandma. Is that you? Ha! See? You locked my grandma in the closet, and now you're gonna try and eat me all up. Only I'm too smart for that. Back off, Wolfie, or I'll stab you with this! Where are my scissors? You've become Red Riding Hood. This is her basket now, not your mother's sewing kit. Thanks for the appetizer, Red. Now all I need is a little girl to wash it down. I don't suppose we could start over? I could pretend I was uh, faked out by your disguise. That would have been the smart thing to do. Play for a little time, look for an opening, maybe stall me long enough for a woodsman to come rescue you. But you had to blow the whole thing right away. I took old lady acting lessons for weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, really. You can go back to being grandma. I'll be happy to play along. It's too late. The moment has passed. You derailed my creative train of thought. Are you guys friends now? He doesn't seem so scary. I am so scary. You just caught me out of character. Just a minute. You made me forget my sense memory. Ah! Oh, I really don't like this about to be eaten feeling. Guys, wolves can't climb trees. Oh, gracious, I seem to have lost my lunch. Mmm, what's that I smell? Could it be lavender? Peanut brittle? Oh, I know, little girl. You might as well find something else to eat. Yeah, we're not coming down. Oh, you're a real rowdy gang. I don't know how I'm gonna handle you. Well, I guess I'll pack it in. Though on the other hand, I could always chop the tree down. Or I could burn it down. Or, and maybe this is the easiest plan of all, I could climb up and grab you. Wolves can't climb trees. Maybe not where you come from, but this is the deep, dark woods. And here the wolves are big and bad and very dexterous. Yeah. Yes, you did. Now the question is, in what order do I eat you all? My mommy told me to Guys, you know what I'm thinking? What? Best well, one. Well, uh, well, well what? Well. Oh, well. Jeez, he sure is slow. Yeah, what's taking you so long? Hurry up, you don't want your supper to get cold. One, two, three! three. 
Where'd everybody go? What are you messing around for? Come down here. Where's the wolf? In the well. Ah. Uh-oh. My turn. Three down, one to go. Let's hope Yasmin handles her villains better than we did. The way things are going, I wouldn't bet on it. Mr. Mirror, can you tell me the way to Cinderella's house? Head out back towards the witch's tower. Uh, by the way, who is the fairest of them all? Chloe! Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just asking. I seem to have lost my audience. It's my lucky day. I'm trapped in a well with the two most vicious women in the world. Oh, why, thank you. But my dear friend here is much wickeder than I. Oh, no, no, no. You wanted Snow White taken out. I just locked Rapunzel up. Guy. Rumpelstiltskin! What's the problem? Our friend, Yasmin, well, Cinderella, she's trapped in Cinderella's house. See, we've all been cursed, and... <sighs> Who hasn't? Ugh, tell me about it. Anyway, we need to make sure she makes it through Cinderella's story with a happy ending, or we'll never get out of this place. And what's wrong with this place? I don't want to rub it in, but this is the kind of place where people get turned into stumps and onions. Okay, you got a point. Hmm, Cinderella's place. Those are swanky digs. I tried to break in once, but the high fence was a bummer. Ah, luxurious. Where are we? Most likely Cinderella's bedroom. There isn't even a bed. Cinderella, are you going to sleep all day? Come down from your room this instant. <laughs> Guess you're right. So, so, what's the plan, baby? How are you gonna top Cinderella as uh, Cinderella? It's your shot. What do you got up your sleeve? Trust me, I've got it handled. There you are, you little fool. You left the broom in the middle of the floor. You ought to punish her, Mama. She hasn't even made up our rooms yet. All swept the patio. All emptied our chamber pots. Chamber pots? Gross. Cinderella, looks like the only dancing you'll be doing tonight is the chamber pot cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Ball, count me out. That's the last place I'd be caught. What did she say? You can't mean it. It is all you've been talking about. It is your big chance to go to the palace. Meet uh, the prince? Yeah, and watch him barf at the sight of her? No, thank you. I've got something else I'd rather do at home. What could possibly excite you more than the ball? Got to sweep the patio. Later. I'll get to the bottom of this. Even if it means staying home from the ball. What? I have always suspected Cinderella has some of her father's money stashed away somewhere in this house. I bet she is angling to run off with it tonight while we are at the ball. But the prince! We can't stay home! A frog! Get rid of it! Hey, genius. Your reverse psychology backfired. They're staying at home to watch you now. You'll never sneak past them. Uh-oh. You gotta get to the ball. You have to meet the prince, leave the glass slipper, blah, 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 blah. The slipper fits, and Cinderella lives happily ever after. But who needs the prince? 
No joke. Cinderella does. It's not like she could just get a job here. It doesn't work that way. Wow. It was tough for girls. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? Not a lot of choices in the 15th century. Not even school. Oh my gosh, I really messed up, and it all rests on me now. I've got to fix this, or my poor BFS will be stuck here with me forever. Cinderella! I have decided you shall accompany us to the ball. <gasps> well, okay, if you insist. What does she have to go with? Uh, what do I wear? What you're wearing would be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ridiculous well has no wooden pole thing with rope wrapped around it across the top? What now? If any of us makes a grab for the edge, the others will fall back in. Without my wand or my broom, I'm just a wrinkly old lady <laughs> with no one to keep me company in that tower. <laughs> my meal ran away from me. You don't hear me crying. Oh, I take it back. I don't care if the water is full of villains. I'm getting a drink. Cool, a hand mirror. Six in the group. Uh, do we really need seven? He's our lead singer! Listen to me, and I promise, witchy, I'll get you back your Rapunzel. As long as you promise to keep her in that tower till she's old and ugly. Deal! Hey, what about me? <laughs> oh, you wolfie. We'll have a feast fit for a starving two-bed actor. Not one girl, but three. And then finally, I shall truly be the fairest in the land. <laughs> <laughs> turned a pumpkin into a carriage, and she's on her way to the ball. She gets big points. She didn't even need our help. <laughs> out of my way! Get me out of here! Stop pushing! Ah, the wheel's broken, madame. Bien, fix it, you oaf! It cannot be fixed in time to make the ball. It's cause Cinderella la grand butt had to come with. <gasps> ah, it is true, madame. The carriage is only meant to hold three, and you exceeded your weight capacity by bringing your... A stepdaughter. Cinderella, you have ruined our evening out. You're the one that made me come with. Smooth move, bad idea. Sharon, Mindy, would you like to assume Cinderella's chores for the rest of the week? We'll ride the horses. <laughs> Our dresses, we will smell like horses. The prince won't dance with us. <laughs> Guess we're walking. Is this in the story? That's outrageous. It's exceedingly far. You want to marry the prince, no? And live in the palace and be rich? Oh, yes, me, 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 me. Uh, but, madame! What is the problem? Speak, man! What would it be but the wolves? Uh, Cinderella, you lead the way. I know a shortcut. I have 
an idea, but we've got to hustle. Back again? Oh, hi there. Goldilocks, can you help us with something? Sure, you name it. Us girls have to help each other out. I'm no girl. I am... Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, did I, did I... I guess I mentioned that. Okay, now I know where I am. I think. <sighs> I should have left you at home. Yes, we don't want her getting the prince. Yo, he's mine? No, mine. Me, me, me. No, uh Me, me, me. <gasps> what was that? It came from over there. What's wrong, Goldie? Yeah, Bertha's the name. And just look at what he's done to me! Who? That awful prince! That's who! <gasps> the, the prince! Why, well, yes! I'm his fiance! Fiance? Or was! <laughs> so you still single? Single and sorcerer, that's what. He turned me into a stump when I wouldn't sign a prenup. <gasps> he wanted you to sign a prenuptial agreement? He wants to make sure no one gets a hold of his money. Stingy brute! This will not do! Mama, I don't want to end up like that. But of course not. Hey, 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 watch it! An onion? I am no onion. It speaks. I'm... Who? <clears throat> the prince's ex-future mother-in-law. <laughs> um, he accused me of being a gold digger and turned me into an onion. <laughs> what a beast! Turtles, back to the house. Cinderella, here's all yours. But the seven Ds are performing! I wanted to dance! They fell for it! Goldilocks, we owe you! <laughs> You're the best! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You too, Rumpelstiltskin! Guys, you saved me! We did it! Not so fast, Marty Pants. Chadwick! Well, as I see it, Cinderella currently has no home, no slippers, and no prints, and no other options. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. Call your fairy godmother. Oh, yeah! Duh. Fairy... <coughs> godmother! Ew! What's that? A fairy godmother. <laughs> I can't breathe. I said fairy godmother, not fairy codmother. No, you didn't. No, no, no! I need my fairy godmother! Wow! Oh. Much better. Oh, Cinderella! Why, look at you, out in these dark woods! Who are all these friends? They're my BFFs! Best friends forever! Oh, how nice. What can I do for you, dear? I need to get to the ball. And your shoes are dirty. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ask what she has in glass. Oh, yeah. Do you happen to have any glass slippers? Gosh, these are really... painful. Ooh, no give. I, I can imagine. Looks like a pump feels like a beaker. And that dress is simply reprehensible. Repra... Oh, wow. wow! Pretty. Do you have a pumpkin? Or some mice? Uh, no. Not on me. At the moment. Oh, why, then? I'll change your BFFs into a coach and horses. <gasps> no! Please change them back. Oh, if you insist. But they look so nice. <laughs> Whoa. There they 
they are. Run! Fairy Godmother, do me a favor. Can you please use the rest of your magic to turn Goldilocks and Rumpelstiltskin back into a little girl and a little man? Well, of course, dear, if that's what you really want. Thanks, Cinderella. What a sweetheart. Gotta go. We had a deal. Oh, I think I broke my coccyx. Looky, looky. It's that witch who turned us into a stump and an onion. And she doesn't have a wand. Let's put her down in the well. No! I'm never wearing heels again. I wish you guys were still horses. Real funny, Bunny Boo. <laughs> Listen, it's your twin. You can chill with the horse jokes. Where's the driver? He's taking a nap inside. Let's take the horses. Who's that? Who's that? Stop! Thief! I'm thinking it was that thief and Goldilocks. Coming. Oh, what a workout. Really works up the appetite. I'm ravenous. Wait a minute. You need me? Yes, I certainly do. It's not healthy to skip meals. Sorry, Cinderella. Not tonight. But I'm Madame de Snootsville's stepdaughter. We were invited. You're not on the list. Your stepmother is. Madame de Snootsville plus three. Well, I'm one of the three. Without your stepmom, I can't let you in. Just sneak in the real Cinderella kid. <laughs> in there. He's looking for you. Chadwick. 
She knocked him out with a shoe. Didn't know girls could throw like that. Really outstanding. She sounds like a pistol. I'm so over wimpy gals. The lady who fits this shoe shall be my bride. How come we're still here? Uh... Yeah, the story's happy ending is certain. The rest of the villains are defeated. Don't we get to go home now? Oh, no! Oh! What sort of cruel joke of fate is this? What is there for me now if I can't find my true love? Why don't you go to her house? Her name's Cinderella. She's Madame de Snootsville's stepdaughter. Cinderella! Here come I! Now everything is sorted out. That was talent, genius, and divine. Dig it. Welcome back, ladies. You broke the spell. I guess. I was kind of having fun. Me too. Well, I guess you are savvier than Rapunzel, Snow White, Red Riding Hood, and Cinderella. Hmm, I don't know about that. I mean, we almost failed. I had no idea how rough it was for those girls. Oh, yeah, they were tough babies. And they were alone. We had friends to help us. We should really think twice before judging someone else. Yeah, yeah, walk a mile in their shoes, spend some time in their skin, all that. Hold up, Chadwick, aren't you supposed to turn back into a prince? You said... Well, I have something to ask. Oh, goodness, we're going to have to kiss him. Oh, no, please, do not kiss me. It's just this, what about your play? Oh, my gosh, the play! What time is it? Same time as when you left. No time has been lost. Phew, I thought we missed the assembly. But I thought you said those stories were silly. No way, they're great. I mean, we had a blast, didn't we? So, let's make our plays just as fun. Absolutely. Yes. <gasps> Thank you, you helped break my spell. I am a prince again. Uh, frog prince? Yeah, yeah. What did you think? Dig it. Where'd he go? I guess the keeper poofed him back to fairy tale land. Who is the keeper of fairy tale lore anyway? I'd like to meet this keeper. Ladies, ladies, it's showtime. Mr. Grimm, we're ready. The kids are so excited. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you ladies putting on this assembly. It's going to be a great show, Mr. Grimm. Don't worry. I'll see you after the show, then. Guys, Mr. Grimm sounds just like... Chadwick! You don't think he's the keeper? Couldn't be. Are you guys ready for the fairy tale extravaganza? <laughs> This is talent, genius, and divine. Dig it. Yeah. 